Hello guys, and welcome back to another video. I know what you're thinking, hey, this isn't what you usually make, but hey. This is my channel, and I created this channel to be an outlet of things that I have interest in. Not just one particular thing, but a multitude of things. And so, today is going to be uh, my first deck profile. I don't consider, uh, I... Don't get, don't be mistaken. I don't consider myself a Yugi tuber because one video a Yugi tuber does not make. Since this is like the only video I've done on Yu-Gi-Oh, I don't think that qualifies. Anyway, um, so this will be a deck profile on Goki Metal. Nightmares, which is Goki, Metal Foes, and the Nightmare Archetype. And this is uh, my my take on the deck. Um, excuse me, but I'm going to be doing this a bit one-handed. But, um, yeah. Alright, first up. Three Goki Suprex. A's Combo Starter. It's always good to see him in your, in your hand. Love seeing him. Uh, he just he can be an in, uh, with him and some of the other cards. He can sometimes be an instant link four, and that's great. Um, next up, three twist cobra. Um, twist cobra I like mainly because of the utility. He's good on field and. Also, he's a, one of the generic games. I also like it. The swinging over thing. This deck loves swinging over things. Um, and he's a good enabler for that. Plus, he's a he's just really easy to get to. I play. Um, actually, next up is yeah, two risk Scorpio. Um, I play two because this deck can bring out with Scorpio rather easily. Him being a level five, you don't actually have to waste your normal summon bringing him out, which is why you can afford two in this deck. Another deck profiles I see people usually relevate to one, and you might feel the same, but for me, I, I can win two because it's not a problem for me. Um, two headbat. Uh, he's really good. He's an extra special summon. Just another way to get another monster on the field. I mean, you're always, you almost always are gonna have a headbat. Well, uh, something for headbat to use is fodder. Um, and if you don't, you can easily get it. And one bear hug. Um, even though he's easy to get out, there's no reason to run any more than one. But he's really... He, they, see, what most people are like, in the moment, that attack having... It's just useful for getting over stuff that you know. Plus, I've had instances where my opponent will try to counter this. And them you know, you know, negating and destroying this just as a plus for me in general. So it doesn't matter. Um... Next up, two Metal Foe Silvered. Um, mainly, you just want your still. Uh, mainly, it's the scales that you're looking for here. Um, the Metal Foe engine's mainly for popping. I have two, two for the one scales, so two Silvered, two Gold Driver, and then I have two Bisma Gear for eight scale and one Vol Flame. Um, there's no point in running two Volflame while it's good. Um, Volflame is not a card I want on the field all that often. If I, I have Volflame on the field, I'm more likely I'm going into a, one of the fusions or another Link monster. And that's practically it for, uh, the monsters. For spell cards... Starting off, three Goki rematch, because why not? Uh, recursion in this deck is just so fucking great. 
and it's just like always just getting those Goki rematches just means your, your deck is going to keep going. It's also uh, also another way to get to the Link Force pretty fast. Another Link plays. Uh, Trans modify. Um, this is just like those instances when you open up like a single Goki, and you're just like, oh, uh, how am I gonna get anything? And, oh, it's like, okay, send Goki to graveyard, get another one, and then you get the, uh, then you get to search off of that. It's pretty great. Um, yeah. and like the metal flow engine that we run here is like really great for popping and then it speeds up not only is it a pendulum summon build but it's also kicks off Goki effects you get two searches for the price of one effect which is great um, two gravity lash um, it's just really great for ruining your opponent's intentions when they're attacking you or when you're attacking them Especially when they have a powerful monster reveal and they're like, ha ha, try to get over this, and it's like, okay. I mean, granted, it doesn't work against Link monsters, but you're not really worried about that. Uh, next up, two Legacy of the Duelists. Uh, this card is phenomenal, in my opinion. Um, uh, when the... Uh, Sorry for the shaky, I'm literally recording this on my phone again. Um, whenever you declare an attack, you can target one spell card your opponent controls, negate the attack, and if you do, destroy that card. And since you can do that as many times as you can attack in a turn, you can pop several times. And in some, in most cases, it's worth giving up a few attacks, especially since you're going to be having a lot of monsters to attack with. This is literally, like I said... The way this deck deals with most of its problems is by attacking, and that includes <laughs> that includes your opponent's back row. However, there are ways like the, there's there's other ways to deal in the deck. It's just that this deck loves to attack. Um, the other part of this is that um, your opponent's limited to one set a turn, and in some decks that can be devastating for them. It also affects you as well, but you don't care because you're not going to be setting that often. Um, and even if you're against an opponent that doesn't set that often, it's still good because uh, during your draw phase, you can give it up your draw in order to add a Goki, uh, a monster period from your grave back to your hand. And this allows you to keep going. That's why I like it. Two Call to the Graves to, ha to deal with the hand traps. I would run through uh, three, but um, I don't want to add a, another card for here. Now onto the one ofs. Uh, we have Goki Face Turn, and I like this because this just keeps everything going, and it's searchable like all the other Goki cards. I just love it. It's really great. Um, Metal Foes Fusion for the Metal Foes Engine. Um, it's great when you use it, or whenever you disc use it for discard fodder, or it gets popped. Either way, this in the graveyard, the extra draw. I'm sorry, no. Let's say, let me just so you can see that. No. Um, for that extra draw, it's just amazing. It's it's definitely the card. Or it's I put this in a lot of decks, mainly because that recursion draw is just really great. And then Monster Reborn, for obvious reasons, Warrior Returning Live, Play Extender, Rhoda, of course, because Warriors. And now on to Traps. You have two Counter, which are great for setting up more extended plays to either go into Fusion or Links. Uh, one Combination, because it can search, which is great for when you need the other scalings and stuff. And you don't need to play any more... Metal Foe, Speller Traps, and then that. Um, I run Phoenix Chain, optional, but I like it. Uh, Mirror Force, mainly, because when I'm facing other Link decks and deal, it, this is just fun to screw my opponent over with. Um, because my opponent's going to be mostly focused on trying to gate my monster effects still, so... 
they're not gonna try to bother with my back row. And when this, and after they've used it in the case to affect my monsters, I go up, oh, mirror force, and they go fuck you. And it's it's it's, it's amazing. And then the heavy storm duster. This is his other form of spell and trap cord removal. Um, you can really replace these with any you know, like Twin Twister or Cosmic Cyclone or MSD. I just like this because it's just my preference at the moment. But you can really run it you know. And uh, that's it for the main deck. Uh, On to uh, the extra. We have Mrs. Radiant. Earth Monsters, Goki's All Earth, it's just generic, it's really great. Underclock Taker, which I've actually had win games, plus it has an arrow pointing straight down, which allows it to co-link with some of the other nightmares that you'll see later, which is great. And using its effect to also half attack just puts you a little bit farther ahead. And like I said, swinging, you'll be able to swing over anything your opponent has. They'll never have anything you can't swing over. Even if it can't be destroyed by battle. <laughs> uh, next up we have our Nightmares. Yep. And there's our Nightmares. Um... Two Unicorn, because Unicorn's just that good. That's more draw power. Um, we have Cerberus. Um, can't be, uh, allows uh, when co-linked. It's going to stop. Uh, can't be, uh, your co-linked monsters can't be destroyed by card effects. Uh, Phoenix can't be uh, makes their things can't be destroyed by battle. Um, and, and then... Uh, Nightmare Goblin prevents anybody from targeting, uh, can't, any co-linked linked monster can't be targeted by anything, which is great. Um, and then they all have their other effects, which can help. Um, I just recently got this, so I haven't been able to use Cerberus, uh, yet, but I have used all the others, and I do like their, you know, especially since this is more Odell, like discarding a Metal Foes Fusion or Dill or, or Goki or something like that for his effect is just really great and I like and it's just great the Nightmare Engine really does make that like, even though I run so few it's just like you don't really need that many because they control the field and Goki's are going to run it over Trigate Wizard is your again calling your Negate um, I run two uh, Goki the Great Ogre, mainly because he's a card that your opponent just isn't ready for, uh, normally isn't ready for. Um, especially when they, they, you know, it's like your opponent can have a strong field, but since his effect is passive, uh, uh, them all losing attack and defense, most of them will never have be able to swing over what you got. And so all you have to worry about is like maybe them trying to pop your shit, but that's easy to deal with. But that's why I like him. It's just like, oh, you can't special. Your opponent has a monster preventing you from special summoning. Swing over. <laughs> oh, you have an opponent that can negate stuff. Swing over. <laughs> opponent has this powerful spell trap. Swing over. And then uh, can't be destroyed by battle. Well, there you go, Borlo Dragon. Swing and snatch. <laughs> um, you can run any of the. Uh, you can run this, and most of the Link Four uh, dragons and stuff like that are pretty good in this deck. I chose this one because this one gets over. Oh, can't be destroyed by battle cheese and stuff like that. And not only that, his quick effect bill is just really good when chaining to other things. And then because this, because we have the metal foe. Engine. I run a very short, uh, small uh, pilot of fusion dills for whatever the situation may be when uh, you don't have enough metal foes, so you can go in this guy. Um, 
she's gr uh, these two are great when you need control or you just need that extra damage you're not getting in which is you know, plus if he dies or when they both die they all do something he doesn't but he can be used as link material and the reason why you would make that move is because putting the pendulum monsters back into your extra deck is still a good move and one Gaga -ga -ga Cowboy for that cheesy top off. I think I've only used this twice. It's hilarious. But yeah, it's just when uh, you've done just enough damage and you can just kill. For game. Cowboy for game. But yeah, that's, uh, that's my Goki Metal Nightmares deck. I have a lot of fun with this deck. And it's pretty powerful. So that's why I haven't enjoyed it. So I hope you enjoy this video. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video.